Hi there, welcome to Deal. We're happy to have you on board as an ERR in Singapore. In this short video, we'll be reviewing some key information that will help you smoothly navigate your onboarding journey. Let's start with the agenda for today. We'll be going through three main topics, compliance documents, employment agreement, and optional health benefits. Compliance documents are mandatory documents that you need to submit for payroll and compliance purposes. Out of the seven here, there are three that I'd like to bring your attention to. You're required to submit a copy of your bank statement clearly showing your name, bank name, and bank account number. The bank account number must match the account that you want to receive your salary into. Under your passport slash ID section, you may submit either your NRIC or FIN or passport. Under your proof of employment eligibility section, for Singapore PRs, you're required to submit the most recent copy of your re-entry permit. This must include a valid expiry date. For foreign nationals on a work pass, you're required to submit a copy of your valid work pass that allows you to work in Singapore. This shows your compliance and document section on your platform. Here, you are required to manage and update the documents that I mentioned above. Your employment agreement, or EA, is the most important document for you to complete your onboarding and officially begin your employment relationship with DEAL. It is crucial that the information here is current and accurate. For personal details, please ensure that you've accurately filled in your ID number and address. These are critical components of your EA. If filled in incorrectly, this may result in some delay to the completion of your onboarding. If you're not a citizen of Singapore, please ensure that you select either permanent resident or foreign national under the residency status field. This will allow us to draft your EA with the relevant contractual clauses. If you have indicated foreign national, do note that your employment with deal is dependent on your work eligibility in Singapore. Under contractual details, please remember to carefully review all of the relevant contractual details in your EA. If there are any details that are wrong or missing, please raise this with the client. Lastly, once you have reviewed and signed your EA, your employment will be effective once deal countersigns your EA. There are a few conditions that must be met to ensure that these are countersigned. You must be eligible to work in Singapore, you must have accurately submitted all personal details and compliance documents, and the client must have paid for the deposit on your contract. Lastly, optional health benefits. In Singapore, DEAL currently offers personal health benefits for two providers for our clients to choose from, namely Unisure and Tokyo Marine. Both providers have plans that provide coverage for employees only or employees and their dependents. Please discuss with the client if you want to be enrolled in an optional health benefit plan. Enrollment schedules differ for each provider. You receive an enrollment notification where you're required to select your plan and enroll yourself and your dependents where applicable. It is important to complete this enrollment within 30 days from the commencement date of your coverage. The client will select the single provider for all employees under the client. Once you have been enrolled and received your notification, you will then be able to view and select your preferred plan. Lastly, it is important to note that these benefits are structured as allowances granted to you by the client and reflected in your payslip. These allowances are classified as taxable by the Inland Revenue Authority of Singapore. Should this be a concern for you, do raise this to the client prior to them informing you that you will be enrolled in these plans. It is important to raise these concerns early as once one employee under the client is enrolled, all employees will be automatically enrolled as well. Unenrollment will only be allowed during the policy renewal period or if you cease employment. Glad you made it to the end of this video. Thank you for your attention. We hope that you now have a clearer picture of how to smoothly navigate through your onboarding. So you want to hire an employee in another country? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm Guy from Deal, and we're leading the charge to help every business hire anyone anywhere around the world. So let's jump right into it. If you're trying to hire an employee in another country, chances are you'll need to set up an entity. That means you'll probably hear your CFO saying something like, not another one, really? Or HR being like, now we have to figure out all the local labor laws. It's not a super easy or fun thing to set up. It basically means you need to have a local office, an address registered as a subsidiary, a local bank account, having to do all this, plus navigating regional benefits, payroll, taxes, compliance, HR laws, it can take a long time, costs a lot of money to do. Your business can also get into some trouble if you don't properly comply with the local labor laws. Think things like termination, parental leave, minimum wage. Have you ever tried terminating someone in France or Brazil? Trust me, it's a headache, and that's when an EOR comes in handy. So what exactly is an EOR? An EOR allows companies to quickly hire an employee anywhere in the world without having to set up a local entity. Essentially, the EOR acts as a local foothold in a country where the business operates it. So they can seamlessly hire an employee on a business's behalf. Say you're a British business and you want to make a hire in Argentina. Well, with an EOR, you can. So once you onboard with an EOR, they'll take care of everything. Hiring, onboarding, HR admin. So you're fully compliant to hire everywhere. So, how does this all work? 
While an employee will be on the payroll of the EOR, they'll still technically work for the company using the EOR, just like any employee. When the EOR onboards the employee, they'll sign a localized contract with explicit details of their role and their responsibilities at the company where they're working. So on the EOR's end, they handle everything related to hiring. That means creating the compliant contracts, making sure income taxes and salaries are paid and covering social contributions as well. Basically all statutory requirements in that country. Now while the EOR takes care of all this, it's the company's responsibility to pay the employer costs. So what do employer costs actually entail? Now employer costs are the benefits, the taxes and the fees a government actually requires the employer to pay when hiring in their country. These costs are based on the employee's salary, they're different in every country and they can change year over year. Let's talk about equity. The big question we always get asked, can the business provide employees with equity? The short answer is yes, but it really depends on the country. For example, in the US, companies can issue what's called non-qualified stock options, also known as NSOs. Since the company doesn't actually have a direct relationship with the employee, the NSO is actually the only viable option. So how do you handle benefits? Each country has its own set of laws with benefits they have to provide to employees. These range from health and unemployment insurance to social security. The EOR exists to ensure every employee receives all the necessary localized benefits, along with any optional benefits the employer would like to also provide. How to deal with intellectual property and non-competes. EOR services tend to have IP protection clauses built into their contracts. This means that any and all IP passes through to the customer. It's not the only way to do this, but it is the most enforceable. Also, it's good to note that while in theory, a non-compete sounds ideal, they don't typically work internationally. And lastly, what about contract termination and severance? Handling these according to a country's local labor law is crucial. These laws often vary depending on the employee's location, though typically you always need to pay attention to the proper termination notice, the severance payouts, and managing any accrued benefits like unused holidays. The EOR manages the entire process to ensure everything goes super smoothly. Luckily, with Deal, you can use us as your EOR to hire seamlessly in over 100 countries worldwide. It's payroll, compliance, and full-time employment all in one dashboard. Yeah? Again?